what's up guys it's Ryan share here with PCDJ Dex 3.4 this video is to demonstrate the brand new auto queue function built into the 3.4 release now the auto queue what it's gonna do is automatically trim the silence before and after the track so if you have long intros or outros well rather if you have silence before or after the song the software will automatically detect the silence and set in and out cue markers which you will see along the track timeline here automatically after loading a song so let me show you what it looks like when you first load a track put the track in the deck and you'll see it's going to instantly jump to the first sound it does a really good job of auto detecting it already but say you've got a track like this and now these are not just in and out cue points, right, to trim the silence. The software is going to use those positions when you manually load the track to a deck. It's going to play from the first in point when you hit play, and it's going to stop at that out point. It'll just end the track. It'll also use these positions, and quite frankly, the, the, the biggest reason they've been included um, is the auto mix function. So when you're using the side list for auto mix, while it's mixing, it's going to use these mix points, these in and out auto cue positions as your mix in and out points for auto mix. So obviously at times, you know, if you're dealing with a track that has a long intro or outro, you may want to trim that off um, the track, you know, so that when auto mix is in use, um, it'll ignore those intros and just play from your new mix in and out points. Now you can reset these. As you'll see in the default skin, and I'm using the Dex 2 2 deck video skin right now. It'll This option is present in all the skins, however. You will see the cue points now under the deck, the, the cue point buttons. There is a new in and out buttons here too. I'm going to use this track as an example because I know it has a long intro on this particular video file. So I'm just going to drag the song up to the deck. And as you see, it's going to show my in and out cue point positions automatically, my mix in and out points. Um, so what we're first going to do in order to reset the in position is I'm going to right click with my mouse on the in button. And then when I do that, you see that the cue marker for the in position has been deleted. It's gone. The flag no longer shows up. So now if I hit play, and I'll jump forward a little bit because this has a very long intro to about the point where the music begins, which is going to be right about here. So I'm going to hit play to pause the deck at that point. Now you can do this with a controller as well, but I'm using a mouse and keyboard. I'm just going to grab the waveform and drag it to I'm right at the position I want to set my cue, which is right there. So now all I've got to do is click the in button one time. And you'll see what happened there. It set the flag on the timeline, and there's your cue point. So if I hit play, it's going to play from there. Now it's going to use that every time you load the track. So you can do the same thing for the out cue point. You would just right click on the out button under the deck where it shows your cue points, you know, one through six, and you're in and out. Just right click on the out button to clear that cue point. So if I jump ahead here in the track and I want to reset it, you know, we'll just reset it in the same position. I just once again hit play, pause at the position I want to set the cue, adjust accordingly, and then click the out button. Left click it one time. Boom. I just set my out cue point. So that's all there is to it. You can reset these cue points to use as mix in and out points for auto mix. Uh, or for manual playback, it'll auto cue to that position, the end point, and end the track on the out flag. I hope that helps. I know it'll help those that use auto mix a lot. It's been a much asked about and requested feature, so enjoy. If you have any questions about this, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Thanks.